When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. I don't know about any of you, but I get confronted a lot with the same talking points. The one I get tired of hearing and reading is the astronauts said they never saw any stars. They say this because they never went, so they avoid describing things that they never saw. Let me be clear. The astronauts never said they never saw any stars. Now, I know what some of you are you're saying. You're saying, Jerry, are you serious? What about the press conference where Armstrong says he couldn't recall and Colin says he didn't see any? You know, this one here. And what about the interview Armstrong gave with Patrick Moore in 1970, where he said he never saw stars on the whole trip, even on the shadow side of the moon? This interview here. Here's the thing. These videos don't say what you think they say. My theory is the reason you think these videos say the astronauts never saw any stars on their trip was because before you saw them, someone told you that's what they meant. Someone said, hey, look at this video where astronauts say they never saw stars. Or you saw a funny thing happened on the way to the moon where they said this before showing the clip. The answer, not to talk about the stars, ever. In their post-flight press conference, it was the only question to which Neil Armstrong responded with an absence of memory. And this after showing the clip. Years later though, Michael Collins would remember seeing the elusive stars and wrote about them in Expeditions to the Moon. It seems his memory improved the older he got. So what did they actually say? Let's look at the clips. First, the interview from 1970, because it's quicker. Mr. Armstrong, I do realize that when you were on the moon, you had very little time for gazing upwards. But could you tell us something about what the sky actually looks like from the moon, the sun, the earth, the stars, if any, and so on? The sky is... Uh... Uh, deep black uh, when viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the earth and the moon. The, uh, the earth is the only visible object other than the sun that can be seen, although there have been some reports of seeing planets. I myself did not see planets from the surface, but I suspect they might uh, be visible. The Earth is quite beautiful from space uh, and from the moon. It looks quite small and quite remote, but uh, it's very blue and covered with uh, white lace and <laughs> of the clouds. And the continents are clearly seen, although they have very little color from that distance. So here he talked about the view from the surface of the moon and cislunar space, which is on the day side of the moon in this case. From that distance. What about the sun? Could you see any trace of the corona? No, the uh, glare from the sun on the helmet visor was too difficult to pick out the corona. Here he says there was too much glare from the solar corona to see the corona while on the moon's surface. To pick out the corona. The only time we could see the corona was during eclipse of the sun from the moon. That is when we were flying through the moon's shadow and could observe the the. Uh, the solar corona peeking out from behind the moon. Here, when he discusses flying through the moon's shadow, he's talking about when he could see the solar corona peeking out from behind the moon. So did he say they could never see stars on the entire trip? Did he say they couldn't see stars on the shadow side of the moon? No, he didn't. He said the sky was black except for the earth and the sun on the daylight side of the moon, and when asked about the solar corona, he mentioned seeing that on the shadow side. No question was asked about stars on the shadow side of the moon, and the answer didn't mention it. Any inference that he didn't see stars on the shadow side of the moon comes from you, not from the video. Now let's look at the famous press conference. Now there were two cameras used during this press conference, and both caught this exchange. So I have them both here to cover an edit that was in the source. The actual exchange was a two-part question, and I'm going to show the whole exchange, even the unrelated part, for the entire context, and so no one can say I purposely left something out. 
I have two brief questions I'd like to ask, if I may. When you were carrying out that incredible moonwalk, did you find that the surface was equally firm anywhere, or were there harder and softer spots that you could detect? And secondly, when you looked up at the sky, could you actually see the stars and the solar corona in spite of the glare? The uh, first part of your question, the, the surface did vary in its thickness of penetration. Somewhere uh, in, in rather flat regions, uh, the, the uh, footprint would penetrate perhaps a half an inch or sometimes only a quarter of an inch and gave a very firm response. In other regions near the edges of these craters, uh, we could find that the foot would, would sink down maybe two, three, possibly four inches. And in, in the slope, of course, the uh, various edges of the footprint would might go on up to six or seven inches, and uh, compacting this material would, would tend to uh, produce a slight sideways motion as it was compacted on the material underneath it. So uh, we feel that uh, you, you cannot always tell just by looking at the terrain what the exact resistance will be as your foot sinks into a, a point of firm contact. So one must be quite cautious in, in moving around in this rough terrain. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the sonar curl of what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. So do they say they never saw stars on the trip? Armstrong says they never saw stars on the lunar surface or the daylight side without using the optics. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. So you can infer that they saw stars through the optics. And when he says he doesn't recall and Colin says he doesn't remember seeing any, they are specifically talking about when they were photographing the solar corona which Armstrong fumbles and calls the sonar Corolla here. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the sonar Corolla what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. Not when they were just tooling around on the shadow side, but while they were doing that task. So they never said they never saw stars. They said, we didn't see them on the daylight side, on the surface, or when photographing the Corona. That's it. In fact, in that very same press conference, they do talk about seeing and making use of the stars. During the video presentation, Aldrin says this. After the uh, undocking maneuver, we went through uh, a brief radar check, and then the command module uh, executed a two foot per second maneuver away from us so that we would both be able to independently uh, exercise our guidance system through a uh, star alignment check which we did following this, uh, this separation maneuver. Moments later, he describes using the stars again. We made use of a gravity align feature where the uh, inertial platform of the uh, primary guidance would, would use the gravity vector to determine the local vertical. We would then compare this with the alignments that we had previously. We also made use of the stars through the telescope uh, and aligning a uh, crosshair by rotating the, the field of view until the crosshair superimposed on the star. This would give us the uh, angular measurement of the star within the field of view of the telescope. We then determine the distance out by aligning another reticle spiral on this. So you can see they never said they never saw any stars. They actually say they made use of them. People just keep projecting other meanings on the words they said. It's really quite clear when you look at it for what it is, not for what you're looking to hear. And there's something else that's pretty clear. A lot of people like to point out this motion that Armstrong makes when Colin says he doesn't remember seeing any stars while capturing the solar corona. People say he's nudging Collins with his elbow because he's startled by what Colin says. But if you look at the other camera angle, you can see that they are a bit apart and they never touch. You can also see that Armstrong's elbow was coming in and forward, not a nudge at all. So let's stop that little tale. So what have we learned? That context matters. That words people use matter and you should take them for what they are, not for what you want them to be. And lastly, we learned that the astronauts never said that they never saw any stars. No one on this planet to even care.
challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. 